There we go. <laughs> oh, did I miss anything? I feel like I didn't miss up anything. Um, what's going on? Is that this? There we go. I gotta tell you, I took... Hi, everyone. I took a wild week to kind of not be streaming accidentally. <laughs> the news... Hi, everyone. The news about the new TOS dropping as I am in the middle of a drive was mind-boggling, and I didn't even get home in time to abuse the new policy. People ruined it so quickly. I didn't even- I didn't even have a chance to get banned, you guys! I- I missed my shot! I can't believe it. See? <laughs> I was like- I was driving on my way to my sister's house when someone was like, sent me a link to the new TOS and I was like, I'm driving, can you- Can you like give me- can you give me the- the, the hints of it? And like, you know, my text-to-speech will read it out. And I was like so stoked, I was at my sister's house when like everyone was getting banned. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. And then the next day, the, the, the changes got reversed and then got a little bit stricter too. Like you're not even allowed to have like sensor bars. Like if what you're drawing needs to be hidden behind sensor bars, it's not appropriate. I think, so the, even, the rules got stricter. <laughs> I was like, no. I could have been banned like everyone else. And then, um... Ah. Uh, my- I- I did have- I did have a chance to browse Twitch on that... Was it Wednesday night? I can't remember. My absolute favorite stream wasn't even someone drawing. It was someone just looking at not safe for work art on twi on Twitter. I don't think anyone gave permission. I don't think anyone gave permission for their art to be viewed and posted on, on Twitch. And it, I was mid report. I was like, this isn't this isn't right. Like I was mid report and the guy got banned. Time to be alive. Hold on. No, my favorite thing. I swear, I had. Oh my gosh, what? I took a screenshot of it. He had a disclaimer. He had a disclaimer going across his um the bottom of his screen too. Oh, this content is solely for art appreciation and is not implying or engaging in any sexual activity. because like I actually could like it was very appreciative <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> what a time I was I was like only half able to be involved on twitch when it was happening I was like screen capping a few thumbnails because I was like this is hilarious this is gonna get banned immediately or this is actually funny like one of them was Garfield but made up of boobs that one that's artistic nudity that if that person got banned that's a crime um i would show you the thumbnail i would show you the thumbnail but i'd get banned because <laughs> it was garfield made of boobs <laughs> i feel like twitch's tos or like car race rules everyone tries to go to the hedge of what's acceptable that is actually a lot of people are mad that the rules are often vague they're not even that vague, but like they're like semi-vague. It's because if you have clear rules, everyone will go to like the iota 
as close as they can to that line before before you're like, well, you said I can't have this, so I stopped just before. You need the rules to have a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of that like human interpretation, or else people are gonna go right up to the rule. I know, I know some people like hate that, but I actually think that you do need a little, a little bit of human judgment for rules. You need, you need context. You need base by base thing. Um, but like, I often have kits. I paint. Well, when I do paint kits on stream, stream, sometimes they've got you know like sculpted parts. And it's not like, it's not, you know, it's just like, it's the, it's the quote unquote human body. And it would be nice to not have to hide those, but of course the, it all got, it all got ruined. People are blaming VTubers for it. I saw some furries. Does it only count when it's painted parts? I mean, I think, I think that they're going to be like insanely strict about anything at this point. Because someone was reading the rules and they're like, oh, there's a clause in here allowing artistic nudity if it's for educational purposes. What if you're teaching people? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I am pretty sure they mean art history. Like, I, I could be able to show you. I'd be able to actually stream those, um, those point and click adventure games that are made up of the Renaissance art. That actually, that would apply because it's technically like art history. Like, I'm pretty sure the, the only exception for it being quote-unquote educational is art history. If I was showing, like, nude art through the ages kind of thing. Man, <laughs> what a time. What a time to be alive. There were some, yeah, there were some furries doing some stuff, too. Um... Yesterday is history. Yes, 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 yes. Tell that to the Twitch moderator, though. Um, can't even have cake out of drawings. Yeah. 1984. <laughs> but I mean, like, the Gura and stuff that we painted, like, she had, you know, her whole upper body was sculpted and she, you know, She's wearing underwear, but she wasn't wearing anything to cover the top. Makes me want to commit ah. a few war crimes of my own. God, I forgot about that sound redeem. Um, <laughs> I forgot about all my sound redeems. Um, I spilled a brand new bottle of laundry detergent on my floor. It fell off of my washing machine. Do you know how hard it is to mop up? Like... Careful! Think ahead! <laughs> it almost scared me too. Um, and then I took my cat to the uh, the the urgent care because I just had a feeling, and I was like, I'm not gonna be able to rest. Where? I was like, I have a feeling. I have a feeling something's wrong. I'm just gonna drive to the emergency vet and just get it checked out. I'm thankful. It wasn't something like he had eaten plastic and it got stuck in his stomach. I'm, I'm a little, part of me was like, if it wasn't nothing, I would have paid a lot of money for it to be nothing. It was something and it's not the worst, but I don't know. He's being a very scary, every 12 hours I have to go shove medicine down his throat and he hates it and he gets scared of me. And then I feel awful because my son is scared of me and I just want him to get better. And I can tell he's starving, but he's not eating. Eat the food. Eat the food. I learned a lot about pancreatitis, though. I also got him some cat CBD oil. Am I allowed to talk about CBD on stream? Maybe if I have the drug tag activated. <laughs> I don't know. I need him to calm down. I don't know. So... No, he's not really eating his food though. He doesn't, I need to make sure he gets his steroid. So I have to like put that into his mouth. He eats, I have, the steroid's a liquid. So I have to shoot that into his mouth. Um, he has an anti-nausea medication that I roll up into a little like treat pill pocket thing. He eats that, he 
eats that like crazy. But the steroid is like the most important medicine. I have to make sure that gets into his mouth. I tried putting it in food. He didn't eat the food. And I wasted a dose, and I was a little mad about that. Maybe, maybe the cat weed will, will help him relax. Hopefully that comes before the holidays. Yeah. All right, let's game. Just, just, <laughs> it's just like, I just open it up and it's boobs. Huh, like that's, I didn't mean to download that mod. Okay, wait, hold on, can I? Hiding a little bit less, but we shall see. All right, I think we're just gonna start with Stalingrad. I was talking to a friend about the the game, cause um, I was just kind of talking about the games with him, and I was describing the beginning of the Russian part, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, that's like this movie." Ah oh, shoot, I forget the title of the movie. It came out two thousand one. Um. And I was like, well, there's worse things to rip off. Uh, let's, but let's just start over at. We'll just start over at Stalingrad. This day you have ever lived. You will fight the fascist Nazi invaders with all your strength. For each and every Polish Soviet soldier, you will make them pay with ten of them. Defeated cowards or traitors. Anyone caught deserting his post will be shot. Remember great comrade Stalin's order. Not one step backward. <laughs> you will be well equipped for the battles that lie ahead. You will have food, water, weapons, and what do you suppose the Germans? Yeah. Nothing. Their supply lines are stretched too thin. Their dash to the Volta has left them without the means to bring us a proper fight. With our superior strength in numbers and our boundless courage, victory is ours. <laughs> yeah, we got this. We problem is this doesn't have a widescreen mode. Enemy at the gates might be it. Oh right, oh god, I have to duck. Oh god. I forgot I had to duck. <laughs> I forgot I had to I forgot I had to duck. Uh this day you have ever lived. Okay. You will fight the fascist Nazi. Here. We'll be crouched the whole time. All your strength. For it might be under the gates. Every Did have... Soviet soldier, you will make them pay with ten of them. There will be no mercy for defeated cowards. Or yeah, with Jude cowards. Law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who I was looking at. Anyone caught deserting? Rob Perlman's in it. Bob Hoskins? We need to do movie nights on Discord. There are so many movies I have to watch. I'm just staring at these guys with 
just, I just, I, I'm just crouching so I don't forget. On your feet, we are leaving. with this one is that there's no widescreen mode. Um, I had to do computer stuff to make it in widescreen and it stretches out the... Okay. 
Okay, okay, heads down. Just fear holding on just a minute longer. Thanks, General. Do I still just not have a gun? Okay, so what happens? Poor Mother Russia, comrades! Do not turn your back on her! It could Take be kind of square. Okay, so what happens if I do walk back? I, I wondered if they were gonna actually kill me. Okay, so do I have a gun? Oh, yeah! Here we go! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's a square. Hey. All right, Makarov, let's go. Okay, so we have to. Okay. Oh, what the hell? What? Ah! Is that 
it? Okay. God, I cannot hear myself. I cannot hear myself up over the war.
we've got this again. out. Missile guidance system, bitch. We clown in this motherfucker. You'd better take your sensitive ass back to GPS. Oh, okay. Okay, this, this private's with me. Cool. We got, we got people. Your 
luck. Okay, I- Oh, help! Gobble, 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 gobble. Mm. I hear your little Nazi pitter-patter footsteps. Okay. Man, this gun is all muzzle flash. I can't see a thing. Enjoy your pizza! What kind of pizza are you gonna get? Red Square, this is really great. Where's the train station? I'm here! There are no atheists in foxholes. Is it arguing that against atheism. It's an argument against foxholes.
bust. Okay, so I posted this on Twitter, but like some of the Call of Duty VODs are popping off on YouTube. Uh, who do I have to destroy to become a Call of Duty YouTuber? If I have to play the Wii games in order to earn that title, I will do it. Oh, Jesus! No help. Love it. Okay. Drop shotting? Get out of here. What else here? The guy's dead. What did you say? Oh, oh, over there. You mad? Oh, yup, yup, you shot me. Okay. wild to have NPCs that actually shoot other people for me. What a luxury. Now they're just there for moral support. Which I do appreciate, but also I appreciate the other thing. Weren't we just here? Hey, hey, hey. 
Yes, whatever you said. I love the sound of a machine gun. Okay. Getcha. Oh, I see health. That also could be a trap. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, it was only 50 health. Expecting the <laughs> I was expecting that kind of Okay, congratulations on your promotions to junior sergeant. Alexei uh Ivanovich. I need every sniper I can get. This morning the Germans recaptured a four-story apartment building near the grits mill of Penzakskia Street. This is an important building, Alexei. From this building, it is impossible to see very far. From this building, it is it is possible to see very far in all directions and all direct artillery fire much more accurately. In order to retake it, I sent some men on rec reconnaissance mission over four hours ago, but I've not heard back from the squad since. I want you to go there and find out what the situation is. Support their actions if you find them. Otherwise, return at once and report to the command post. German sniper activity on the surface route is reported to be very high today, so I just I suggest you take the sewers instead. Major V S Zubov, thirteen guards division. Ooh, the sewers. Okay, I need a sniper. Go on. Comrades of the Soviet Union, there is no need for the synthesis of bloodshed between our nations. The German people are not your enemy. No. If you surrender, you will be treated well. And if it wanted proper medical treatment, uh -huh. the German army is your friend. Got it. Ah, oh, yeah, we're good. I'm surrendering. Sewers is gonna be sneaky. Oh God, there's gonna be someone popping up right there. Yep, 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 yep. I know your car. I know your games now. Sorry, sorry, Private. I 
out are like the very abrupt sex scenes. I don't know if that's real. Because like people have all those rumors about the Oppenheimer movie that weren't real. I don't even know who to trust anymore. Are you trying to make me see the movie by being like, oh, there's all these sex scenes? Or are you trying to make me not see the movie? When I said that, I assumed they weren't going to shoot me. that way. 
way. Alright. Would they actually let me surrender? I mean, I know they're not gonna let me in the game, but... Alright. I don't think the Germans were actually cool like that. Yeah, you surrender. They were wearing the same outfits. The like, their friend text didn't pop up until after I shot them. They were wearing the same they were wearing the same outfit. Okay. I am a traitor to the motherland. are won by slaughter and maneuver. The greater the general, the more he contributes to the maneuver, but the less he demands in the slaughter. I 
actually went to go see um, the Churchill Bunkers when I was in London many moons ago. My... Stay in the ditch and keep your head down. They've got snipers out there. Okay, I got two happens when I stand up. Yeah! <laughs> As the fastest man here, you will be debate. No, thank you, comrade. That is an order! <laughs> Alex, I will cover you with the sniper rifle from here. Now go, before I shoot you myself! Be the second fastest. Oh, I see you. No, where'd my sniper rifle go? not count as a traitor to the motherland. I'm okay.
they're behind me. Okay.
second, my guys have the hats. Oh, are you new here? I always keep my head on the side. Are you new here? I always I always approach games like this. It's very rewarding and fun. Gratifying. Good for my mental health. on hard. Building, clear it out, floor by floor. Almost a traitor to the motherland. And if we could like coordinate or something, that'd be really nice. Okay. I'm like freaking out because I just I don't want to kill my comrades. Yes. Ah, this is, 
utter chaos. Can I, will you let me in? Okay. I am just, I am just always moving while crouching. The like sacrifice to movement isn't. Go, go, go! Give me a game at the home! Like, it, your, your aim is a lot better and the movement isn't that bad. Oh god, a grenade. They threw one back. Hey, okay. Get him. Okay. Did we get him? Are we oh, on the fourth floor? Oh, I swear to God, that last guy almost got me, and I was going to lose Comrade it. Comrade Alexei, we've got those anti tank rifles on the second and third floor. You take out the tanks, we'll stop the troops. Move in! Here they come! Ready are the anti tank rifles! Are these tank rifles ready? Machine gun? Second floor. Oh, okay, there's one on the back, on the... Okay, I'm getting it. This is not good. I didn't realize that more Nazis would be coming into... Does no one understand cover? Move, cover! Here they come! Ready are the anti-tank rifles! We'll take care of the troops. Bad. 
no. Okay. Is there another? Is there another tank coming? Oh my god, there is. Oh, okay, it's one of these. somewhere good lord oh god honestly i think the game the, the once i get this done like the, the mission version find someone on the fourth floor to hide I don't... This is gonna be bad. I think there should be more than one person on the anti-tank rifle, but that is just me.
If the tanks get too close, then we automatically die. Is that what happens? Oh, I hate this. There's just, there's, there's, there's no way. Like, God, if the tanks get too close, you automatically die. I... I don't know if I can do this. Move, come on! Here they come! Ready on the anti-tank rifles! Anti-tank rifles ready! Machine gun! Machine If you get hit at all, you're done. I understand it. Move, come on. Uh, Here they come! Ready on the anti-tank rifles! Anti-tank rifles ready! If so, there's one on the second and there's one on the third floor. for whatever side is going to have the tank. Do not kill me, do not kill me, do not kill me. Okay, off 
up, 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 up. Get out of here, you Nazis! Okay. I need help. Drop health. Oh god, I'm, I'm, I, I betrayed Mother Russia. Concentration mode. Concentration mode. Oh, sorry. Part of me is 
something, maybe if I stand on this side, I can just trigger it so that it always spawns on this side so I don't have to leave floors. I'm not entirely sure if it's random or if it's like location based. Like they want you to move. knocked out part of the wall, those absolute Up, 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 up. I think that 
sucks is like if it if it senses that you're gonna hit a teammate, it stops you shooting. So if there is a if there's an enemy but one of your teammates is in the middle, it just it stops shooting. While it, while your crosshair is kind of hovered over by the enemy. Quite the programming decision, I tell you what. I gotta die. Russia. <sighs> the friend or foe AI back during World War II wasn't nearly as complex as it is these days, I'm told. <laughs> Even getting close. Like, oh, here they come. I, I can't, I can't go down to normal because we're stuck on hard. Other side? Are you kidding me? my luck if I get hit. Like, if you get hit by the tank, like, if you get the weird shell shock, you're, you're screwed. Oh, 
shot me. What shot me? Ugh! I can't tell people apart. Everyone is moving around. God, it saved. Oh, it gave me an auto save at two minutes. This is amazing. Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> ah, I don't even care. I don't even care. Oh, God, which side? Oh, God, it's this side. What? I 
I was gonna make like some kind of joke of like, I was on the fence about Nazi. Well, I shouldn't though. But now they're really annoying. Um, oh, I betrayed Mother Russia. Probably gonna throw one more tank at me. was just a little more interestingly designed. Like, I think the idea... I think the idea of this level is neat. I killed my comrade and then those guys were saying it's fine.
sorry, Pavlov. I'm sorry. house that's actually supposed to help me. I just 
kill myself with that grenade. Oh, thank God. I've read the reports of your actions on the 13th Guard Division at Stalingrad and Kursk. You should consider yourself very lucky to have made it this far. Of more than 10,000 troops who fought in your division at Stalingrad, you were amongst 260 survivors? In response to my recent request for experienced troop replacements, you've been transferred to assist the units under my command. A soldier with a good record like yours will do us some good. In the next few days, we will advance through Warsaw, forcing the Germans to retreat even further. I'm sending troops ahead of the offensive into the manufacturing districts to clear out factories and rail yards being used, used by the Germans to repair their tanks. As you'll be responsible for leading one of the squads into the area, you are hereby promoted to full sergeant. Yeah! We gotta... Oh, we're moving up the ranks. Okay. Major P.K. Grishin, 150th Rifle Division, 3rd Shock Army. <sighs> Warsaw. Just put us right in it, huh? to Berlin. Da, for the women and the The <laughs> general who gets to Berlin last will be sent for re-education. We'll be re-educated with them if the NGPD hears us. sound exceptionally dry. People are going ham on the hydrate today. Eh. Oh no, my straw fell out. Do I sound dehydrated? Too much water will kill ya. Eh. I am not team hydro flask. This is a hydro flask. This is a hydro flask. <sighs> Whoa, okay. I love the like canned animation when you kill someone. <laughs> This door open. I hear that our generals are racing to Berlin. Da, for the women and the French champagne. Generals who get to Berlin 
labs will be sent for re-education. We'll be re-educated with them if the NKPD uses us. That's 
that's what killed me last time. Okay. Alright, so I will not shoot Private in the back of the head. Go, go, go! Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Hello! Okay, we saved. Move! Sorry, I thought there was an NPC bugging out. I didn't realize it was an enemy that they just passed who just walked up to me and punched me to death. that like they're scripted to keep moving yet a lot of these enemy spawns seem to be scripted when I get to a certain point.
Already ahead? You guys ran ahead. Say, comrade. It's not actually going to give me. Thank you. 
my god. Fraction of your skull. Wait, 
gun. I have absolutely no bullets.
Yeah, I I need to go get more water. I will be right back. I'm definitely not losing my mind because of this game. It has been three hours. Oh my gosh. I will be right back.
All right. Uh, let's go. Ah, ah, okay. My poor gamer wrists. I bought, I'm not using it for gaming, but I bought one of those vertical mice because rigging absolutely destroys my wrist. So we gotta, we gotta test it out. I was gonna, I was gonna test it out yesterday and then um, all of Live 2D was down. No one could, uh, no one could access their projects. I thought I got it. I didn't realize I didn't get it. Thank <laughs> you. 
to be good now. someone out there. Okay. died. Uh, he's in Brooklyn 99. I don't remember his name. Okay, Sergeant something uh, Voradin. We're almost up to Oda River. From there, it is less than 70 kilometers to the lair of the fascist beast. Some of our tank crews are decorated veterans of the Battle of Curse. They will lead this drive to the to the to the Oder. However, there are still severe shortages of trained tank crews. The expanded design of our new T-3485 tank accommodation tank accommodates five crew members, but many of the crew under my command have as few as three. To be fully effective, these crews must have a driver mechanic, a driver slash mechanic, a hull machine gunner, a main gunner, a loader, and a commander. I've been authorized to enlist soldiers at, um, at will from the infantry to fill out incomplete crews. Given your combat record... Um, you will be commander slash spotter for a less experienced but technically competent tank crew. Yay! Um, when the next batch of fully trained replacement reaches the front, you will be returned to your former unit. Report to the tank bearing the tactical number 1126 by the 0900 hours. Colonel G.V. Andropov, 2nd Guards Tank Army. Yay! Budget shortages. Oh, I... <laughs> Hurry up, get moving. Okay, I don't
God, I really wish this wasn't in first perspective. by tree.
destroy the 88 artillery guns. Oh, I thought... Okay, 88 is the descriptor. There are 88 of them. Nice, was he? Okay, I'm covering it. But they do have a little thing. It tells me what direction I'm facing. I try not to cover the screen. Anywhere close to me, okay. 
Don't think we are leaving! Is that friend? Oh no, that is not. Okay, that is friend. Since oh, June of 1944, the Allies have made enormous advances through Europe, sweeping through much of France, Belgium, and Holland, almost to the banks of the Rhine. Much of their success must be credited to the Russians, who at Stalingrad, during the winter of 1943, destroyed many of the Germans' best panzer divisions. <laughs> On the Eastern Front, the Russians have continued to push the Germans back through Russia and much of Poland, and We're will great. soon be on the banks of the Oder River and the border of Germany. The situation for the Germans has grown desperate. Allied bombers have reduced many major German cities to rubble. The German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, is a mere shadow of the power it once was mm -hmm. and can do little to stop the bombers, much less fight the Allied armies. The Kriegsmarine, the German Navy, is mostly sunk, its U-boats destroyed, and its sailors pressed into the army. <laughs> However, the enemy refuses to surrender. Ooh. Unable to stop the Allied advance, Hitler has turned to vengeance weapons, the V-1 and now the V-2 rockets. These rockets, although some of the most advanced weapons of the war, are too inaccurate to hit military targets. Instead, they are being used to terrorize London. Oh! January 15th, 1945. Northeast of Bastogne, Belgium. A few weeks ago, the enemy broke through the lines of the Ardennes, and the 101st was rushed into battle to hold the town of Bastogne. We were... Well, we were holding Bastogne, surrounded by all sides, taking quite a beating. We are dug in around captured. Ger we are dug in around a captured German bunker called Festog Rechnig. The enemy holds two more bunkers to the other side of the ridge. Between us th and them are minefields, a frozen stream, and a bridge. At least two enemy artillery guns have our attack route zeroed in. We are attacking those bunkers today. There's a lot of new faces in the trenches these days. I have a feeling there will be even more after today. Gentlemen, we fought a whole bunch. Yay! Of this, so I know you know what to do. But indulge me. Move quickly, cover your buddies, don't bunch up. And for heaven's sake, don't stop till we reach those bunkers. Diplom! Ha 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 ha! Okay, at least we know if our mines go off, there are no longer mines.
I will end you. <laughs> Great job on the Private Martin, you've done yourself proud. I can hardly believe Atheist and foxholes. Already did that. We already read that one. All right. Oh. Oh, do we get to do a little thing where it's like we're doing we're America, and then we're gonna be British, and then we're gonna be Russian again? Uh, three troop, two SAS. It seems that some Yanks discovered resupply schedule for a mobile V two unit called Batier four four five. Now, S O E five O E wants us to take us out. Um, locate and destroy a V two mobile launch site in the vicinity of. Bergensfurt in northwest Germany to eliminate anti-aircraft defense interfering with allied efforts to locate additional launch convoys. Um, information. Two. Enemy. Static defenses of area of operation. Unknown. Past reports from Dutch resistance operating near familiar sites in The Hague indicate the presence of up to five platoons in a mobile V2 convoy. First launches in September 1944. SOE reports over... 900 V2s have since been fired at London. State of alertness. Allied efforts to locate and destroy mobile V2 convoys have consistently met with failure due to poor weather and frequent enemy relocation. The enemy is not likely to, ex to expect an attack is crossed out. Method. Three. Outline. Sergeant Waters and I will take care of the AA guns first. The others will lay mines on the road near the assembly area. Insertion will be by parachute at 0200, roughly 12 to 18 miles to the north of the target area. Intercept and resupply the convoy and destroy any anti-aircraft positions en route. 
Reassemble and coordinate attack on the launch area. Exfiltrate to prearrange contact near Dutch-German border. Map reference. A bunch of things. All right, Evans. We'll head east, destroying any targets of opportunity. Then we'll meet up with the rest of the squad as planned. You take point. I'll provide support with the Brenda. And the models are so teethy. Black Verling anti-aircraft cannons. Oh, we have like everything. Death of one man is a tragedy. The death of millions is a statistic. Thanks. Oh, this is closing. Thanks, Joseph Stalin. Okay, Sergeant Waters didn't actually practice this. I love him.
one thing they did a really good job with was just making each 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 like army feel different. know how Price died. It's just like, you do the mission, it really does not follow you. Water just is like, oh, a bit sad, isn't it? Bring me waters. Heavens, we need to blow up that flat gun. Oh God, Go. I just got here. Waters don't die, I'm reloading. Got him. Oh, if you tell I'm British. Alright, that was offensive. Uh, there's a guy in there. That'll get me. Uh. Oh my god, it really put me all the way back here. I 
just realized? There is no blood. I mean, there's my blood splattered on the ground. Joshua Tree Sprout go without water. Alexa. It is kind of messed up that you can just like trigger an Alexa or an OK Google kind of thing very easily. Kind of messed up. Evans, we need to blow up that flat gun. Go! Joshua tree sprout. Okay, now I know there's someone in there. Get out of here. Ah! Oh, gimme. I thought that was like chocolate, like German Nazi chocolate. and destroy the supply trucks. I really like that they don't need invisible walls. They can just put mines where they don't want you to walk. Good use of mines. No time to chat. We'll be moving north to find those V2s now. All right then, move it. Move along. Can you tell that I'm British? I think you can kind of hear that we're close to the fighting now. Very quiet, not long ago. Ahead of you. 
why are you yelling at me to move? Val, did you find the answer to your question? Or you just like... God, stop it! just how quickly you have to build like everything. Why do we have to fuel the rockets and then destroy them? Do we like blow them up in the air? Go, go, go! an ugly thing, but not the ugliest of things, the decayed and degraded state of moral and patriotic feeling which thinks that nothing is worth war is much worse. The people, the person who has nothing for which he is willing to fight, nothing more, nothing which is more important than his own personal safety is a miserable creature and has no chance of being free unless made or kept by so the exertions of better men than himself. That's how I imagine that man said. That's how he said that. Okay!
No, damn it. I should I should have gone the other way. Ugh. Oh, it saved! Go, go, go! Well now I have a little to live. Breaks your neck. Does this go, baby? Okay. <sighs> in the zone. I'm losing it. I'm in the zone. I know we're almost done, though.
imagine. Thanks, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. when he's turning. so they can blow their own off. Go find the controls in those bunkers and get those V2s fueled. God, someone made a... Uh... God, I sent the clip to Spooky. Oh, my 
Someone made Barry Sloan's a yacht. And I was like, jeez, what are we doing? There should at least be health packs in here, are you kidding me? Ah! Not hooray, there's gonna be enemies. Okay, so now do what you do. If we don't end war, war will end us. Comrades, it's been almost three years since we repelled the Germans at Stalingrad and began the long journey to Berlin. As we fought across the motherland, we saw countless examples of the destruction of suffering caused by our fascist enemies. Now their capital city lies in ruins, their armies in disarray. Only one goal remains. At the beginning of the Berlin offensive, nine... Vic red victory flags were handed out to various div uh, divisions for hosting, hoisting over the Reichstag. We in the 150th Rifle Division have the honor of being one of them. The German defenders have nothing to lose and we will fight ruthlessly, do whatever is necessary to defeat them. We must get our standard bearers to the rooftop at any cost. 
Soon we will begin our attack and achieve total victory for the motherland. Major P.T. Grishin, 150th Rifle Division, 3rd Shock Army. Victory or death! Yay! Tell me I get to pick up the flag, or do we not program this? This is the first one! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I think we're about to- I think this might be the final mission. through the franchise out of order. Two, does it ever go on sale? Because that is one of the other unfortunate things about this franchise is that the 
games rarely go on sale, and when they do, the DLC almost never does. side type. I guess I also die if I touch the tank. Well, World at War was um, Treyarch's take. That was them kind of doing going back to World War II. Because that was their first game with, um, with Infinity War. Thank you so much for the hydrate. I'll try not to... I'll try not to get run over. Go. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh, thank god. Okay, only one of you died this time. That's good. The Treyarch did World of War. Uh, Infinity War did the first three... Did the first three Call of Duty. Are you kidding me? 
yeah, no. Uh, if any of you actually can, I can that guy just kills me every time. Oh, yeah, World of War was Treyarch's first one. With, was their first Call of Duty. And then I didn't realize how late uh, Sledgehammer came into the picture. before they ruin it, right? That's how this works. Because if, if you ruin something, if you ruin something before it's good, then it's just bad. Oh, the big bird. Oh, come on! I turned the corner and I died. hard mode, by the way. I'm not bad at games. I like that we had to- wait, I like that we had to tell us who Edmund Burke is. 
Everyone else, like, oh, wait, what? What? Dead have seen the end of war, Plato, dead guy. No, Modern Warfare 3 is very fast paced. Modern Warfare 3 is very fast paced. I'm not even like an expert. Well, I'm not an expert on the multi. Funny. I've never really seen people play as Sledgehammer, except for after the fact. <laughs> Again, I'm not like, a, I'm not an expert on the games of multiplayer. I've just played all of them. Ah, bird! Okay, take that Nazi bird. God, move! Looks like I can see that guy. Please tell me I'm the one who gets to play. That would be dope. I mean, I don't have my boy Reznov.
like that. This is before the era of bass boosting every the ever living hell out of gunshot sound effects in games, and these guns kind of sound like guns. Die! 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 die. Are you telling me your guns don't have built-in base? ago, we waved the flag of the motherland over the top of the Reichstag in Berlin. The war, at last, seems to be coming to an end. There is very little fighting left in the enemy. Soon I will be returning to our home. There are German prisoners of war everywhere. Today, I crossed the Elbe River in Germany and shook hands with an American soldier. Although I could not understand anything he said, I felt this man was my brother. And I think he felt the same. Hooray. Did we do it? Oh, start the mission? Oh, it's the credits! Yeah! I mean, who cares about the Japanese front? The Russians certainly did. I'm ready for these credits to be like ridiculously short. Short. I would alt tab to go through the tier list, but um, I cannot alt tab while this game is running. Guys, look, that's us. <gasps> now we're two people. I thought it was solid. I mean, I don't know. I think I would put this as like I feel like I'd put this as like a high B not because it's bad but because it's just like it's age is showing
I'm glad that alive. Oh, thank you to all the testers. Maybe that your IMD. Remastered? Oh, it's a remaster of the video game. Okay. He's Call of Duty Finest Hour. Call of Duty United Offensive. Call of Duty. Oh, he also did Medal of Honor. He also did all the Medal of Honors. Okay. He did the Muppet Monster Adventure. Oh my god, his first composing gig was the Gargoyles video game. Well, his first, his first recorded game. Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow. I didn't know that he started as a video game composer in the 90s. Medal of Honor started in 1999. Oh my god. He had a very interesting early career of just like. in the making of this game. Thank God. Hooray! We did it, you guys. We did it. We saved the war. We saved the world. At war. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm losing it. Okay, so the big question is next week, next Monday is Christmas. Are we gonna have a Call of Duty Christmas? Or should I push it back like a day? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm working. I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday before Christmas. I'm gonna get my double pay. Cause I have an employer who pays me double on holidays. Praise the Lord. Let's see. Let's see. Where's my... Here it is. I mean, part of me thinks that... Getting that bag. I am getting that bag. I love it. This is the list right now. And like, it wasn't a bad game, but like compared to the other, like part of me wants to put it as like a low B. Not because it's boring, but it's not because it's bad, but it's just like boring by comparison. I think I think I am gonna put it in a low B. Was solid, but it ha doesn't have Kevin Spacey betraying you. Disregard women, acquire currency. What year is it, Pi? What year is it to you? Huh. I don't know. We'll see. I guess the question is. I don't know what next week's gonna look like. I might be doing something a little special 
Um, I really want to play King's Quest, and Lolotov said that they have not played King's Quest. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. But let's see. Is is Ricky still streaming? That's. I'm going to Twitch, not Titch. Ricky do still be streaming. Let's go read Ricky. Titch.tv. Yeah, exactly. Let's go read Wiki. She's playing uh, Neopets. Easy, easy game. Easy transition. Just like everyone else is, right? <laughs> um, I don't actually know what I'm streaming for the rest of the week. I'm having a weird one. Um, but... I love you guys. Uh, goodbye.